Bonbon. Tigger. Too much advice. TMA. TMA. It said that men are from Mars and women are from Venus, and Gay Poppin wants to help lessen the gap between the two worlds. Everything on love every Friday with our love professor, Christian. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa, everybody? What's up? How are you doing? This is love professor, Christian Burris, in the house today. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. You look extremely tired. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Because I'm extremely tired. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I look tired. Yeah, it's the only I mean, reason yeah, I look it's, tired. It's the normal thing to look, yeah. 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 That's fine. That's fine. I mean, look, Christian, I've been noticing that maybe it's because of keep popping or it's maybe because you've been doing a lot of other guests on radio. You've been kind of opening up your own like radio yeah, yeah. <laughs> show online. I've yeah. been noticing these days. Yeah, so look, I have this this little console at home mm-hmm. and then I connect it to my phone mm-hmm. and I was like just playing around with it uh, one day, like just doing a live and then I was Okay, maybe I should try. You know, like I, I, I've been in enough radio shows to know like how things, things go, work. right? So I, I was just trying by myself. It's too hard. <laughs> it's, it's just too hard to control everything. What I'm saying, the music, the cuts, and everything. I'm doing everything by myself. It is fun, though. Yeah, it no. is fun. And now you know why we have an amazing engineer sitting outside. We have Queen V as our producer. Yeah. I have our writing staff outside. Yes. And then I have me. So you and me can only focus on this. Yeah, that's true, right? <laughs> so basically, I'm with the with the audio console controlling the audio and then what is going to happen next. Like, <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. But it stressed the hell out of me. <laughs> 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 it's fun. I will have you as a guest one day, hopefully. Sure, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. I mean, because I'm not good enough in Spanish to be on your YouTube channel. So. So I, I'll be on your other radio all right, show. All right, yeah, It'll yeah. be that's, a lot that's easier. That's 20 minutes long, so yeah. yeah, you can be there. <laughs> I'll be there better. Yeah. And then I'll be a guest on your show so we can yes, call it even. Yeah, sure, You can call yeah. it even. So, uh, Christian, wait, yeah, I don't yeah. think it's working today. Hold okay, on, let yeah, me do it. Yeah, okay, wait, okay, they want us to yeah. take pictures? Because uh, I want to I wanna read some messages. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. you to read some messages too, but yeah. it, I guess they wanted us to <laughs> take a picture because <laughs> the camera was on. We can upload pictures. Is pictures of Loadable to the chat? No, I don't think so. No, right? we can't. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, pictures only to our Instagram account when they take pictures of us that go up. Oh, later. maybe they just not allow me to go to the chat anymore because I stop. I, I, I post a lot of stuff. <laughs> <You> post too <laughs> many things. No, it's fine. Uh, okay, so uh, okay. we've got a lot of our yes. listeners dropping by. There's a lot of messages in Spanish as well. So, Christian. Okay. DJ. Cristian, yep. take over. Okay, Paula Martinez, Cristian, vamos por un pozole. Cristian, let's go to eat some pozole. You know what pozole is? No. If uh, the, probably the most um, uh, similar dish in Korea will be like yukezang. Oh, okay. It, it's, so it's, it's like a stew. Yes, uh, it's like a stew. It's really good. It's really oh. good. You, if you have to try it, if you go to Mexico, please. And it has a lot of avocado in it. Oh. <gasps> uh, let's not talk about food because I, I'm gonna. I, I probably want to faint. <laughs> We have a. Uh, Yul- Yulianis Silva, saludos desde Colombia. She's listening from Colombia. Mm-hmm. Um, good day, Isaac and Christian. Susu is saying, hello, Isaac and Chris. Saludos desde San Luis Potosí. That's uh, Mexico. Uh, Paula Martinez. Hola, Christian. ¿Cómo andas? Muy bien. ¿Y tú, Paola? Dalia Ramirez, as everybody. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go tweak some tacos. Oh, my. They just keep talking about food. Why are you making me that now? There's no tacos here. I wish there was like, you know, like this this one guy that came from Mexico that has this truck. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right, taco right, truck. right, right. Taco truck. Uh, does he have to be me? <laughs> yeah, it has to be you. <laughs> do, do I have to do that? Oh, Christian, it has yeah, to be you. I, I mean, I have let's to do it. it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I'll be in the corner learning how to make tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be making tortillas and then I'll be giving them uh, to you. Oh, that would be hilarious if you're me and doing it. <laughs> We'll be eating all, all this we, stuff. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, my friends used to say, oh, he's like, you should open like a bar, or, like, you know, a mm-hmm. tent bar or something. I was like, that's dangerous. <laughs> I wouldn't sell my alcohol. I would drink it all. <laughs> sell it all. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah, drinking more of my alcohol than selling yeah, it. It's too do dangerous. It, yeah. No, no, no. We'd yeah. be eating more tacos than selling them. Yeah, you have you have to sell something you don't like. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll make, a, I'll make the tortilla, I'll give it to you, be like, oh, it's like it ripped. It's in my mouth. It's like, you know, it's like, oh, it ripped. No, oh, I don't think it's, I don't think it cooked it right. I need to eat it. We'll be making home t- homemade tortillas, like, 
Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Exactly. People from Chile is, is hearing too. From Santiago, Chile. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Man, all Latin America is here in yep. the house. I love it. And he we're loves it too. loving it as yeah. well. Um, Mimi, who's currently in Tegu, is saying there's actually some really good Mexican restaurants in Tegu. Really? Mm. In Tegu? Mm -hmm. That's unexpected. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've been in Tegu, but I've never been in a Mexican restaurant in Tegu. Like, uh, you know, like this franchise of uh, sandwiches, like the famous one, like the Chiachol one, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that metro, one. Metro, right? Yeah, that <laughs> one. The Metro one, it just like appeared on Tegu like two years ago. Uh huh. So I, I wasn't expecting that there was going to be like a Mexican restaurant, but man, man. Okay. Tegu has improved a lot. That's good to hear. I, I would That's totally to love to yeah. go check that out as well. Yeah. All right. So uh, today we are here for a purpose. We got a story today that I think a lot of our listeners could probably relate to on Ooh. a lot of different uh, aspects. This yeah. person actually might be you. So, uh, cause, <laughs> might be you. Because <laughs> uh, even though I'm playing the girl who's sending in the story today, yeah. I think I'm the guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get into the story for today. There is going to be a penalty after this as well. So, music cue. There's a guy I really like, and we've only been dating for a few months, but I've noticed he doesn't really have a, quote, basic knowledge of current events or even care if his facts are right. Hey, Isaac, I love your hair. Oh, you got that new long bob cut with volume perm. Oh, you look amazing. Thank, thank you, thank you. Now, my current boyfriend is only interested in trends and nothing political. Okay, Chris, with COVID-19 continuing and everything, you know, I'm just really worried about the relations between the U.S. and China right now. Mm, U.S. and China? Mm-hmm. Aren't they like best friend or something? What, what, what does it have to do with our country, though? I mean, but it, there's a problem with trade. You know, the economy, this all affects us, too. Mm, no, okay, okay. Yeah. But see, that's not all. If I slightly use complicated words or talk about common topics that affect our age group, he just shrugs it off like it's nothing. He doesn't really need to know. I don't know if I can keep our relationship going. Very so, cool. I'm this girl, I'm the guy, I think, <laughs> in this situation. <laughs> oh my god. So we have two options too today, Yeah, we have right? two options today. Okay. So A is it doesn't matter as long as he's a good person. Mm -hmm. So as long as you guys click and everything is fine, it's okay. Mm -hmm. B, if your point of views differ, it's going to be really hard to keep the relationship going. So yeah. pretty much break up with him, but it's not as extreme as like run, run, run like yeah, we yeah, had in the past. Yeah. Can I choose first? Yes, please. Okay, so I lose last week, so I'm going to choose first. I'm going to just go for A. Yeah. It doesn't matter as long as he's a good person. And you know why? Because I have an experience with this. <gasps> of course you have an experience with this. You have yeah. an experience with everything. <laughs> <you said. laughs> so what happened? Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> right now, uh -huh. so I was uh, I was in two relationships, right? So let's say the first Only re two. relationship A, mm -hmm. that person was really serious they, she used to talk about a lot of topics like intense mm -hmm. like 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 the, this girl like political economic mm -hmm. religious ones mm -hmm. and it's not that I don't like to talk about it but I I you know I became like that because she was talking all the time about mm -hmm. it so I eventually started talking about that way mm -hmm. then that relationship ended and when I went to the next relationship you know after being in a relationship, you go to the next one. You you keep some of the uh, what is hanged on like the behavior. Yeah, yeah the, the behavior, behavior the, the, like yeah, habits. Yeah, yeah, habits that you had on the past relationship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until you adapt to this new person. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, basically debating all the time with this last person. Then I went to this new relationship, and I I will start trying to debate, mm. and that person will be like, yeah, 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 sure, whatever, doesn't matter. Even with like small decisions, like. Uh, so you went yeah. from one extreme to another. Oh yes. So you went oh, from intense yes, yes, to yes, 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 eh, yes. yeah in two relationships. Yeah, but th that was uh, so shocking for me, you know, because like small decision, like what do you want to eat? 
when the when the first person with relationship A, when I was asking, for example, do you like to eat pasta? Mm. Oh, but you know, pasta, you know, like... Mm, know, she would give you some statistic, yeah. like, do you know how much fat and sodium yeah, is in there? And like, you know, the sodium is really bad for women, and then it gives yeah. the death rate, and she'll give you, like, stats. And, and then I have to debate, right? Like, uh, if that was the case, then half of the population of the world would be dead exactly, by now. Exactly, exactly, right? <laughs> If you're going to be worrying about that, then there's no people in the world. You just eat it, right? And then we start, like, like fighting, having mm. this intensity and, and tension. And then I'm, with this, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to debate. I have all my, you know, my knowledge yeah, yeah. already in order <laughs> in my brain to spit it out. And then I like, you want to eat pasta? And he said, yeah. Uh, And that's it, oh. yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, know okay. what the protocol is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I realized that uh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't match, you know, like as long as that person is a good person, it's, uh, I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. Okay. So... I kind of had a feeling you were going to go for A today. Okay. And so I was prepared to be B. Okay. And I'd have to say that from my personal experience, I'm more of this guy, honestly. Okay. I'm more the type of guy in that B girlfriend in your, in, in your situation where I was like, ah, sure. If, I'm, if I really don't want something, I will be vocal about mm -hmm. it. But everything else, I'm down. Um. Honestly, if I was not a radio host, I probably wouldn't know half of the things I know now. Mm, that's interesting. Because yeah. I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, you, you're an open books. You, you don't, I don't yeah, care. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I don't care who the current president is. Yeah. Especially in this country because I can't <laughs> vote. <laughs> Okay. Now, I, yeah. I do vote in the country that I'm originally from, and yeah. so I don't keep up with it as much as I need to, mm -hmm. but I do try to educate myself mm. in the fact, like, you know, for the next elections, who should mm. I pick? So I kind of do, like, you know, a cram test type of a deal. So, but why would I go for B in this if I am mostly this guy in the relationship? Shouldn't I be asking somebody to just accept me for who I am? But I think it has to do with, like, you know how your A relationship ended up crumbling because you're not the type of person who constantly debates. Yeah, it's true. She needed somebody who had the same interest. So it's pretty much like a hobby. Mm. Um, I feel that any healthy relationship, friendships, parents, family, re like, significant other relationship, I feel that sharing at least one hobby mm -hmm. needs to be there. At yeah, least sure, one sure, hobby. Yeah, yeah. And in I think in this situation, the the hobby should be, you know, the topic of conversation. So the guy's only into trends. He's looking at like a long bob cut with the volume from <laughs> like I unless he's a stylist, I doubt he would even know what this means. <laughs> Christian didn't know what this meant. So I mean, yeah, it's just a difference in what you're interested in. And if you're driven by something so different, if the One partner in the relationship is extremely political, extremely business, extremely numbers, extremely like, ah, oh, this, this, five for this, five for that. Why are you this? Why are they that? And they, they expect an answer. Mm -hmm. It's like you're a relationship. Mm -hmm. In the end, it didn't work out mm -hmm. because you, you were just two completely different people. You are not always ready to fight for mm -hmm. Your bowl of pasta. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think what girlfriend A needed was like a debate show, <laughs> like a radio show, be a host or something. Or a lawyer time. boyfriend. But you know what? I, what I can feel here also from the boyfriend is like he's not telling her like, oh, I don't really know. He's like trying to guess. He's trying, to, you know, like, oh, they're they're friends now, like U.S. and China. They're good friends. There should be nothing happening. Like he's trying to make himself like he knows, mm -hmm. like, you know, like he's trying to make himself look mm -hmm. like that he knows, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's wrong. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you say I don't know. Mm -hmm. If you have no, uh, if you don't care, you mm -hmm. say I don't care. Mm -hmm. You don't need to lie about like some some stuff you don't know because you, you just want to look cool or you don't want to look stupid. So that. That's exactly what uh, girlfriend B was doing. Like mm -hmm. when I was uh, sometimes trying to get like some in this level two topic, right? Mm -hmm. Like more more intense. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, I, I, I don't care. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. And, you know, I feel that uh, this could be right now we're talking about, you know, like politics and like current events. Mm -hmm. But this also ends up leading to another debate. So I feel that if the guy in this particular relationship is 
not really interested in like the economy, uh, what all of this is having like on their actual because it said later on that it he doesn't really care about like common topics that affects our age groups, you know, like mm. mortgages, percentages, you know, like savings accounts, things like that, that, you know, as adulting, I hate talking about them, yeah. too. But knowing about them is something that we kind of have to mm-hmm. do. It's kind of like he's trying to stay away from like he's trying to stay immature like i i, I want to be on top of the trends like you know bts is timmy and just got you know like retweeted by i feel yeah, like he's more interested in trying to stay like quote yeah, younger yeah, yeah but like if you're thinking of taking this into a relationship that's going to be going further yeah. kids are going to start coming up as a, a topic too if this goes to the <laughs> next step and if that's the case then where yeah. what kind of school you're going to be sending them to no. you know that in itself becomes like a whole other like hashtag adulting just argument yeah but i mean sometimes there's people that it never is going to get mature you know i see i see child mm-hmm. being raised by a child mm-hmm. you know what i mean like that person never grew up so it's a child is raising another child which i mean in a certain way could be okay yeah. but i mean yeah um so Evie was saying a relationship can't really be uh, supported by emotions alone on the long term there has to be at least some common interest otherwise you guys will definitely grow apart mm-hmm. um and so uh we also have that carl is dropping by hi carl uh the the writer didn't say they weren't both interested in things did they so it's not that they're not really interested in both things it's just more that the girl in our story is more interested in current events like yeah. christian's ex and uh, is just ready to bring those topics to the table because she feels that their age group is yeah supposed to to, yeah. to where the guy is just like that is a cool hat <laughs> <laughs> it's like dude exactly exactly did you see BTS's comeback like he's more <laughs> into that I'm personally it's different I think it, it just it doesn't really matter as long as, as you have a, something uh, as long as you have something okay yeah. so Christian is going for as long as he's a good person just go with the relationship things will work themselves out I'm gonna go with B if your point of views differ it's going to be really hard to keep the relationship up and on in the long run so fam continue to send in your votes remember there is a penalty at the end of this so yeah and uh, marlene was also saying to just be honest in the relationship which is also a yeah. very big thing too indeed that's the answer so continue to send in those votes but in the meantime what we're going to do is take a quick song break before we come back and after this we're going to be learning some korean and also some spanish yeah. as well infinite is up next with Yarum in the summer and more timmy is coming up next K-pop and fam and all Arirang Radio listeners, it is Friday, that means it is TMA Day, and it's a Christian in the studio, yeah. our love professor. So our first story, kind of intense, kind of not. I feel that everybody can kind of relate to a certain perspective of it. Mm-hmm. So our female listener sent in that she's a very like open, political, likes to talk about current events type of a personality, mm-hmm. uh, and her new boyfriend is not really into that kind of stuff and so she's kind of worried about if this relationship can go forward Christian is A today he says A as long as he's a good person he's fine yeah the relationship will work out yeah. and I'm B no 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 <laughs> red light red light red Tell light <laughs> go around go back go back stop turn around go back it's not so much running today yeah, not yeah, so much yeah. running not just, running just walk away else. yeah just walk away <laughs> slowly Walk away slowly, <laughs> disappear into the bushes. <laughs> and is dropping by from oh, uh, yeah. Texas. Texas, oh my Texas, living Texas. Do, 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 do. My taxes, my taxes, my taxes, <laughs> my taxes. Yeah, I have to pay my taxes too. Yeah, Alex yeah. is also dropping by from Mexico as well. Uh, we've got Fernanda dropping by from Ecuador. Wow, Ecuador. Yeah, also the, from Hidalgo. Saludos, Hidalgo. Hidalgo is a part of Mexico. Part uh, of Mexico Stephanie's yeah. dropping by to say, uh, from dropping by from Peru. Peru, wow. So far right now. What time is it there? It should be like midnight or something. Like close to midnight from yesterday. So it's Friday. It's Friday, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fr- also Friday starting for them. Yeah. yeah it's a Friday Ooh, starting. Good way to start a Friday, huh? <laughs> good way to finish a Thursday. Yeah. 
Okay, so we've got a chance to learn Korean and Spanish and a little bit of English. I think we learn all three languages in yeah. this segment each yeah. and every week. Uh, so it's part two of our uh, TMA for today. Today we're going to be looking at the drama, which is 이번 생 and 처음이라, because this is my first life. Lee Min-gi and Jung Soo-min are on, Jung Soo-min are on this particular drama. I really liked this drama's mm. perspective. Why? It was very relatable. Okay. I mean, it's a romantic comedy type of like, you know, those mellow drama type of a dramas, mm-hmm. which I normally don't like. Yeah. But <laughs> I like the dramas when they like to focus on something else. So like if the two main characters mm-hmm. fall in love naturally and they don't kind of like push it like there's really cringy oh, yeah, yeah. like oh i can't live without you and then like, you know like, <laughs> yeah i hate it like the very music yeah. video animated type of dramas i don't really like those but for this one and even the scene that we're going to be looking at today yeah. uh this scene takes place at a bus stop mm-hmm. and these two people they end up running into each other a lot more later on in the drama mm-hmm. but it's It literally just a random person yeah. speaking to a random person. Yeah. And we only know them as the main characters because they're the main characters. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of like, it is a very, kind of makes you sit back and be like, huh. Hmm. Yeah. That could that, that yeah, could, that's, yeah, that's actually, that was a great scene. <laughs> and so you can take a lot from it as well. So uh, this particular drama, it's actually streaming right now on one of these streaming sites. Mm. So if you would like to check that out and if you are a subscriber to that, I think you can go check that out too. But um, Chris is going to be none other than our male lead as always. He's going to be Lee min uh, part and I'm going to be playing Jung Soo Min. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to try to be as... nonchalant as she is. She's very monotone in this drama, so I'm going to try to be that as much as possible. Kind of, both of them are kind of... Uh, yeah, it's yeah. very monotone, yeah. both of their characters. Yes. So we can be as monotone as possible. Yeah. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Let's do it. Because you are 20, 30, soon 40. She can break time into moments. Chasinul Kazunun, Chongju, Chongjugun, Chigusange, Ingan Bakup Sumida. The only species on earth that restricts themselves are humans. Sorundo Maundo, Koyangi Dien. 똑같은 오늘일 뿐이다. 30s, 40s, to a cat is all the same today. 어, 다시 뵙지도 못할 분한테 제가 위로를 받았네요. I received comfort for someone I'll never see again. 아, 다시 못볼 사람이라 위로가 될 겁니다. You were comforted because you will never see me again. 이번 생은 망한 것 같긴 한데 그래도 열심히 해볼게요. I feel this life is a failure already, but I'll try my best. Control me, da. Here's to a break fight. 이번 생은 어차피 모두가 처음이니까. For this life, it's everyone's first time. That was the actress herself singing on that song. Yeah, beautiful the OST. Yep. This thing has. Yeah. Like I said, fam, it is one of those dramas that is just like really easy viewing. And we had a few of our listeners saying that Christian, Carl was saying that can someone cast Christian already? We need to see him on the big screen. <laughs> yeah. So not a small uh, drama. We you, want to see you. you as well. Yeah, was that? Oh, yeah, like in not mm-hmm. in a drama, but in a movie. We oh, in a movie! Well. Wow, in a movie, that'll that'll be that'll be great. That'll be great. If you were in a movie, what would you like? What kind of role would you like to play? The bad guy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have to be the bad guy. The one, you know, the one who steals the girl. <laughs> 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 But you know what? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to be like the the mean girl. Oh, in, like. roles and stuff like that isn't, I, it, isn't that the cool thing yeah I, was like, I, want, I can be really sassy I can real yeah. be a capital B I can be like 
<laughs> I can give you attitude. I'd be like, uh uh-uh. uh. Do you think it suits to me though? Like, uh, but because I could also play like a like a check and like a really nice person too. I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, you don't think? I don't think yeah. I can. <laughs> if like if like I played a really innocent role, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I can you, do it. You'll be throwing up. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be throwing up every yeah. time I have to do a scene. Okay, yeah. so today's. All of, I think, uh, all of the lines are very, like, motto, like, you know, uh, metaphorical stuff that I could totally put on my profile. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like, it's, uh, it's, most of them are uh, pretty much the same when you translate it. So there's no mm-hmm, mm-hmm. something we can go really so deep into, into it. it. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about ages. <laughs> okay, well, Marlene was saying that oh, uh, in English, this sounds so weird. Yeah. That what, what it sounds weird? This whole scene. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I, I was trying to read in English with the same feeling, but it's like, no, it's just, it just doesn't. There's something about the Korean language, you know? It's very poetic. Yeah. And it's, it's very deep. Yeah. Very, very deep. Yeah. Very deep. So there's, you're talking about ages, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, because I, I think for the first line, it's not just about the age itself. Um, yeah. Everybody's just like, you know, in my 20s, I'm going to do this. Yeah. In my 30s, I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. In my 40s, I'm going to do this. But, that, and then Yimin goes into saying that, you know, the only species on Earth that restricts themselves are yeah, humans. Yeah, yeah. Everybody else just lives by their natural but, animal instincts. You, you, you know, what I love about the Korean uh, uh, language is that you can say stuff like mm-hmm. Like, you don't even... Fi- you, you say three things, three different things, and they have three different contexts, and you still didn't finish the sentence of the first one, and you start the second one, then the third one, and it makes sense. Yeah, there's That's a lot beautiful. of dot, dot, dots in the Korean language, yes. but it works. Yeah. Actually, when you learn Korean, you are, I don't know if I can say that, like allowed to not finish the sentence. Mm. You know, like you're you talking, are. and people will understand that mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that finish. Yeah. Run-on sentences, if we go like grammatically, yeah. it's... It's acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, acceptable. Yeah, it's I acceptable. mean, it, when writing, it's not. But oh, yeah. Of when course, you of talk course. or when, yeah. like, drama scenes and stuff like yes. that, you are, you can leave a dot, dot, dot at the end of a, a yeah. sentence. Yeah. And it'll be fine. That's amazing. So, 20, 30, 40. You know numbers in Spanish? Like, how, how far you go? Right, let's see how far you go. Let's start from uno. I can go up. I can't go back down. <laughs> yeah, just go. Just go. Uno. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Oh, that's nice. So you go. That's all I memorized. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, about, what about 11? Nope. 12? Nope. No, no, not at all. You don't mm. remember? Not, not even not even just a little bit? Nope. If I give you a hint, will nope. you remember? <laughs> no. Really? Literally. Wow. Three years of high school Spanish. <laughs> Where? To the toilet. <laughs> All I remember from three years oh, of high school Spanish yeah. is comer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And that's uh, it. Comer. That's comer. It. Comer mucho. Like out, of, yeah. out of all of it, out of all of the words in Spanish I could remember from high school, it had to be comer. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most important one, you know. It That's is, the most though. important one. Alo- it I, is. Along, but I with, mean, along with baño. So, uh, 20. And the only thing that I know is yeah. like some bad words because my dad dated a Peruvian lady. Oh, okay, okay. So, you know the bad words. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Because you know, yeah. when you learn a language, you That's learn true. bad words That's first. True. That's true. So, if you want to say numbers like, uh, uh, let's. Uh, let's. I'm gonna say, let's say so 20. Why, right, yeah, wait, why, why, we're gonna be looking at numbers today? Yes. Okay. Like, Usumusal, Sorunsal, Maun. Because you know, in like, Korean, it's very different. In the States, 20s, 20, 30s, 30, 40s, 40. But yeah. in Korean, you, yeah. 40, 40. it's yes. different. So you have two number systems, that's what you call so, it? Yeah, yeah, the number system's different. So, so even when you say the hour, for example, you use the two numerical systems. Mm. So for when you say the hour, you use mm. and when you say the minutes, you use Ili uh, mm. right? So you can say, for example, uh, shipun, but you cannot say uh, what 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 would be the opposite? Yoshi Yolpun. Yeah, mm. you cannot say that. You cannot say that. Mm-hmm. So that's how Koreans use it, but they don't know. 
They don't know. Because they're just taught it that way. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. Okay. So you have to memorize both of the numerical systems when you come to Korea. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to teach you how to say in Spanish uh, 20, 30, 40. And then we're going to start mixing it with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's the, it's the easiest thing you can do. And then we're going to talk about some ages. Okay. And then we can just leave this here. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm learning numbers today. Yes. Numbers. Hopefully I can memorize it better than I did in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know more than 10. Okay. Okay. So 20 is 20. Oh, I remember this. Oh, you now you remember. <laughs> I, I remember this. <laughs> What about 30? You no. remember? Okay. <laughs> 30. I think if I see it or hear oh, it, probably, I'm yeah. like, oh, I think I know what that is. Okay. 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 So 30 is 30. And 40 is 40. Okay. Yeah, okay. So when you want to mix it with another number, for example, you want to say 21, so 22, 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, mm. 28, 29, and then you go all the way to 30. After 30, you just paste and Y, it does want to become E, the pronunciation. So okay. 30 E. Uno, Uno, 32, 33, 34, 35, same thing with 40. 41, 42, 43, 44. And, 40 e? Yes, okay. 40 e. And you go along until no, 90, 90, y 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you go all the way to 100, which is 100. Hmm. So it's not that hard once, once you learn it. I think 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 are the hardest ones mm -hmm. because they, they, they change a lot. Okay, they changed a lot. Pos Carl was just like, wait, what? Why are there two number systems? Yeah, Korea has two number systems, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. So, <laughs> I, I, I think... They have two number systems with age and two number systems with time. It's like a cardinal and ordinal system. Oh, that's wow. How, that's, that's how it's called it. Yeah, so you look so smart today, Christian. Oh, all of a sudden, it's just like a smart, <laughs> smart aura just popping up all over the place. So the ordinal one is like the way you see in everyday life, like mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. and the cardinal one will be first, second, mm -hmm. third, fourth. This kind of numerical mm -hmm. system we don't use it that often, mm -hmm. but in the Korean language, is is every every time, every time there. It is. Yeah. Okay, so 20 is 20. 20. 20. Man. 20. Uh, yeah, 20 changed a little bit with when you put it with uno, it becomes 20. 20. So it's yeah. 20 originally just as 20, but when you put it with numbers, it's 20. Yeah. E. So 20. an E always goes after the But that's uh, that's not the E. 20 is a specific case because the same word of I think 20. this is why I don't remember 20. <laughs> <laughs> I think as soon as my teacher started teaching me this, I was just like, the, nah, there's too I'm many not, changes. I, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. I'm not having this coffee. I'm not nah, doing nah, this. Nah. So yeah. it's 20 when it's 20. Yeah. 20 mm -hmm. when 1, 2, 3 comes after yes, it. Yes, okay. yes, yes. And then 30. 30. 30 and, y uno. Yeah, 30 y, y dos. Okay. 30 y tres. And then 40. So, for example, mm -hmm. you, you're going to ask me how old I am, and I'm going to answer you with numbers, right? Años. Años means uh, years? age. Yeah, huh? years. Of Isn't it age, años? Year, years? years old. Uh -huh. Yeah, years old. So, uh, tengo, I, I have, so I'm going to answer you that. Tengo whatever I have, and then años. And when you ask me cuántos... So how many años tienes? Yeah, that's, that's the way you have to ask. ¿Cuántos años tienes? And then I'm going to ask you, tengo whatever años. We're going to take a quick song break. Then we're going <laughs> to come back and actually do this because we're way over time. All right. So we're going to take a quick song break. It's a super cute track for you guys to sing along with. Sweetheart and more team is coming up next. All right, fam. So it is still the second hour of the show. Guys, <laughs> Christian is scaring me. <laughs> I, mean, I, I love this comment from Dalia Ramirez. What? You can tell it's Friday there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's Friday. We're really excited it's that really it's Friday. Friday yeah. Body's light, mm -hmm. feeling light. Mm -hmm. Like you feeling mm -hmm. like dancing, you know? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. really Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday. Oh my goodness, everybody's Viernes. still talking about food. Stop why, talking why, about why, food. Why, why, why? No, no. Don't Stop talking me. about food. Don't do that to me. Okay, so before we actually come back to the story for today and some of the penalties that we have to do, we do have penalties. Oh, yeah. Uh, for today. So uh, you had, last week, you <coughs> you picked out of our box. I, we, yeah. I think we need a name for the box. Yeah. Um, uh, let's call her because uh, mm, it's, it's pink. pink. Let's call her 
Uh, what, what is this flag? I think it's from the UK. UK? Oh, let's call her uh, Uka. <laughs> no, fam, if Uka. We, fam, no, let's Uka. not do that. Uka. Fam, if you, if you guys have a name Uka that you want to... I love Uka. No. Uka. Yeah, little Uka. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, we have... You You need to still continue to send in your votes uh, for that uh, yeah. story earlier, too. So remember for our story uh, with the girl... And being very political and on current events, the guy is not. So are you going to be doing A, it doesn't matter how long, as like, you know, what uh, he thinks, just, you know, as long as he's a good person. Yeah. Um, and then for me, I said B, uh, no, it's going to be really hard in the end. Yeah. Oh, Mimi, I was right. It was the UK flag. Oh. Uka, yeah. I don't know my flags. <laughs> uka, Uka, is, you know, Uka, it's, uh, it's the spelling in Spanish of UK. Oh. So the U is oh, yeah. U. 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 In case, in case oh. ka. Yeah. Uka. Stop Uka. Stop trying to <laughs> stall. You need to do your penalty. All right. You I'm just going to do my penalty. So he got impersonation last week, so he has to do an impersonation. Who are you going to be doing an impersonation of today? Uh, you know, the actor Oh Jong Se. Yeah. yeah. Which role, though? Uh, the one I I don't know the title in English though, like the the flower. Tumbekot. Uh, yes. When the camellia blooms. When the camellia mm. blooms. Yeah. Yes. So you're gonna do an impersonate. You're gonna do a line from there. Yeah, well, okay. I'm gonna try though. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, go for it. <clears throat> so it's short. It's, it's short. short. So, okay. <clears throat> right. Yeah, I just can't do it. Just yeah, can't just go, go for it. Okay. Hey, 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 <laughs> it was very similar yeah. until you said tequila. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I have to say tequila, you know, because the original text it has something else that yeah. I cannot say here. Yeah. yeah. But no, that was actually a pretty good impersonation. I have another one. Okay, you have another one. Yes, uh, you know the the singer, uh, the, the the one that sings, sings the uh, Soul de Dal, Kim mm, Gomo. Kim Gomo. I can do that song. Okay. Just like him. <laughs> you can, just like him. <laughs> just like him. Okay, do it. <laughs> Yeah. There you Ooh, go. Very similar. Yeah, we'll see very, similar. We'll see again. very similar. Very yeah. similar. Okay. I have okay. another one. <laughs> We're running out of time. <laughs> I didn't think that this per- I didn't think that this penalty would be this exciting for him. Uh, so let's do the countdown because we have to right. figure out who's gonna do what next week. Ten. Nine. Eight, eight, what? Seven. seven. <laughs> what? Six. <laughs> five, five. Four. four three, three. Two. One. Two. Oh, did you? Oh, that's fast. That's fast. Okay. And the loser. Okay, today you don't say the winner, say the loser. Who lost? Yeah, say the big loser so we can say the loser. Ooh, big loser. Mm. Yeah. So, today's okay. loser. 88.8% to 11.2%. Oh, smashing victory. So, 11.2% goes to B. Me. So you lose. Yeah, I lost. So you lose. I oh, lost. yeah. Uka, uka time. Uka, 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 uka. It uka, looked like uka, our uka, listeners uka, were going to be voting for uka, me. Uka, 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 uka time. Oh, wait, wait. Send an over. We have time. We don't have time. Okay, you're just We're over time yeah, already. Okay, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh no. I don't want to see that. Yeah, that's a penalty for Christian. Oh, and I think God. a penalty for our listeners. So I have to do three types of ego next week. Oh. Oh my so God. if you want to see me do Aegyo, send them in. Uka, 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 I'll be uka, doing... Uka, 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 be uka, doing. Uka, 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 Stop! <laughs> That's the punishment God. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do Aegyo oh next week. Yay. We're over time already. So Christian, we're going to be seeing you next week. And as I sign off and I'll see my listeners tomorrow, it's one of my tracks. We have Isaac and Tion singing I Don't Know How. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see you next week. Bye!